are beautiful people i welcome you back to my channel it's good to be back here again and i hope you guys are all doing great to my subscribers i say a very big thank you i appreciate you guys and if you're new to this channel you are welcome please please do not forget to subscribe and of course remember to turn your notification bells on that is the only way you get notified anytime we upload a new video today i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful contrasting color two in one reversible bonnet yes okay getting started let's not waste much time these are the materials i'm going to be using today and of course yeah they are indeed contrasting colors and i love the combination of these two and i can't wait to see what comes out of it of course i have other materials i'm working with my tape chalk safety pin and some pins scissors and i'm making use of this one inch of elastic okay so now setting this aside i already have a piece cut out already in square i have 23 by 23 okay cut 23 by 23 um, from your fabric square form and of course fold it into four as you can see i folded it this way first and of course this way that gives me a square and I pasted it together so that I will be able to cut um, the two out at the same time. Okay, so I'm just going to paste my tape at this edge here and uh, mark out 11 and a half all the way to this point. So from here, I take my marking 11 and a half this way, this way, and... Um, And here we have it. Of course, the next thing is to do is just to mark this point together. And we have our circle already. All I need to do now is to cut it out like so. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to open this up and um, placing them together like so. I'll use my pin to put it in place by holding it down. Doing this is to avoid the fabric from, um, you know, shifting. So now that I have it in place, I'll just go to my machine and run half an inch all the way. At any point of the circle, leave about one and a half or two inches where I'm going to be turning it out afterwards to the right side. But before you do that, be sure to trim the edges after sewing. Half an inch, do not forget that. Trim the edges and turn it to the other side. And of course, give it a very good press. Then we'll get to the next stage. So now I'm done. I'm done giving this a very good press. As you can see, the next thing now is to mark out my elastic casing. So I, it's a one inch elastic. So I'm going to mark out, say, about 1.1 just to give it a little bit of space for the um, elastic to really go. Okay, so now I have the one inch all drawn out. Um, also, taking note of the point where you have the two inch opening, okay? Take note of that point. So I'm just gonna run my stitch all the way and from this point to come to this point. So you still have here, I'm sorry, you run everything all through. Having this space, of course, open. Cover it, run your stitch all the way, and um, we'll have this opening to fix our um, elastic. So I'm done um, with the stitch all through, and uh, all I need to do next now is to um, start fixing in my elastic um, with the safety pin. Carefully doing this. By the way, the elastic. Um, 
was cut according to the head circumference, okay, which uh, 23 is what I'm working with. And I actually cut out exactly 23. I didn't take uh, any inch away from it, okay, because I want it a, a little bit loose, okay. I usually don't like, you know, having the bonnets all tightened up. Like, even though I'm using an elastic, if you're putting it on, you shouldn't really feel it. Okay, so that it doesn't give you any mark on your forehead. I hope you understand that. So in this case, I am using um, the exact hair circumference. Of course, I'm still going to sew up the elastic at the end of this. So carefully doing this, in order to avoid this from going in, I hold this down with a pin here and um, continue adjusting and um, passing it through. So now that I have this, carefully take off the pin and this as well. Okay. Holding this down carefully so that it doesn't go in. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stitch half an inch like so. This is just a demonstration. So when I run like half an inch, I'll open it like this and um, slide the, this hem part. I'll put it in place like so and also hold it down with a stitch. After which, I'll carefully distribute this gather. It's very, very important to carefully distribute it. In that way, when I'm done with that, then I would um, close up this opening at the edge. And um, that'll be it. So I'll come back to show you the finish look. Gabby's, this two-in-one contrast color bonnet is ready. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm, this is beautiful. And the other. Totally different. Totally different. Can you see this beautiful two in one piece? Wow! I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you do, please, guys, don't forget to share my video, give me a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to my channel. So, I see you on the next video. Bye.